Hey everybody, it's Ozzy Rodriguez here with the video for part four of the PSD to WordPress using Dynamic for Genesis. In part three, we styled the primary navigation and the header navigation. And this video and article will be doing our content, comments, and sidebars, and the footer. So let's go and get started. Um, we'll go and do Dynamic design, Genesis dynamic design, over to content, and we can start styling it. Um, since we added our font colors and our fonts um, over in body, and these all have the universal uh, stuff checked on them, uh, they've taken the colors on so it makes it a lot easier. Um, there was no Photoshop file for the inner pages, so we're just going to style it uh, very and do it very basic. Um, what we're going to do is uh, take the background color for uh, what will become our widgets on the front page. We're going to copy and paste that into the post content and page content. And for the block quote background, we're going to paste that in, but then we're going to darken it up a little bit. And that'll be OK. Um, we're going to get rid of the content bottom border. Uh, leave these as zeros. Um, okay, let's save changes and see what that looks like. Okay, so I like how it stands out. Um, the problem is it doesn't line up with the sidebar, our content. Um, so we're going to adjust the paddings. Um, and then our content inside of the content area uh, goes right up to the edge of uh, right up to the edges of the content area so we're going to change that as well adding some margins uh, so we do that by going into custom and we'll add a margin uh, no margin on top and bottom and then 10 pixels for the left and right hand sides so we're going to copy that and we'll paste it into the content byline, content paragraph, and the post meta. Okay, we'll save changes. Uh, let's adjust the padding. So we're going to change the top to zero. Uh, right, we're going to get rid of all the padding. We can leave the bottom padding at 10, and then left, we'll change that to zero. So now if we save and do a refresh, we can see how much better that looks. Um, so we don't see the byline or the meta here, um, but if we go and we look at a blog post, we can see that the post meta is brought in from the edge as well as the byline. So let's move over to the uh, sidebar area. or comments actually, so that's next in line. Um, we're gonna, I think what we're gonna do is uh, use the same colors as we did for our content. Uh, so we're gonna do that. And then the alt background. And then for the reply background, We'll use the same color as we use for our block quote. Okay, uh, our submit button. Let's do the submit button. We'll make it that color. And then on hover, we'll make it the same color as our reply. Oh, that didn't take. So let's save that. Um, let's go bring up a post. And we see that it's been brought in. Let's get rid of the um, comment border. I think that'll, yeah, that looks a lot better. Cool. All right, so that's easy. Let's uh, do our, our sidebar now. Let's OK. 
Okay. So right now, um, it's really plain. Um, I guess what we can do is if we bring our Photoshop up, so we won't use the ribbon um, like we're going to do for our widget areas on the front page, uh, but we can use this kind of reddish color. So let's go ahead and do that. Or we could use the same um, red color that we did for our hyperlinks, which will make it a little easier. Um, so let me, hmm, let's start off with that, yeah. So our sidebar content. Uh, the heading background, we're going to change it to that red. And the inner, the, con the actual content background, will make the same color as our um, page and post content. Okay. And let's see how that looks. Let's um, let's make our header, our header uh, font a little bit bigger. Okay, and right now that's a little hard to read. So let's um, let's use the same. Let's see what it would look like if we use the same color um, as we're using for our sidebar content background as um, for our sidebar heading font. All right, that looks a lot better, much easier to read. Um, and I think it fits right in with the, the whole site. So um, we'll leave that like that. I think we're done with that. All right, let's do our footer. Um, so for the footer font, right now it's Arial. Let's go ahead and change that to a Lobster, which we're using in a lot of places on the site. Okay. Leave it the same color. Uh, the footer links leave on hover. And for the footer background, let's do we have an image. And let's do our horizontal repeat image from the left. And the color will make uh, the same color as the body background. So that way it'll merge right in. Um, we'll get rid of the top border. And for the footer padding, let's see what that looks like actually before we start messing around with it. Okay, so we do a refresh. And I actually think that looks pretty awesome the way it is. Cool. All right. Well, I think we're. Uh, I think I'm actually going to call it there. Um, so in the next the uh, in the next video, um, we'll mess around with the width a little bit. Um, we'll style our easy homepage, um, and then our widget stuff, um, and then the rest of the, the rest of the items should go pretty quickly. So we could probably finish it up in the next part. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and see you guys later.